guys and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. And today's game up on the tabletop is called Mechanica by Resonim. It plays one to four players. It's about 45 to 60 minutes to play. It's for ages probably 11 and up. And in the game Mechanica, you are basically trying to uh, build tidy bots. And what are tidy bots? Well, in this new age revolution of technology, you are attempting to work in this specific factory that creates bots that clean households. And these bots are going to replicate in certain ways. They will duplicate, they will downgrade, they will upgrade. You have three different types of bots and you're trying to put them onto these trucks and then the trucks will take them to the houses where they will then surveil. I mean, they will then survey. No, they will then help clean that specific house. And the objective is to try and get as many bots out there into the world as possible so that these bots will be good cleaners uh, for human beings. And when, when you go ahead and produce these things, you'll acquire certain benefits like money. Uh, there's also specific objectives like blueprint cards that you're going to try and obtain while building specific types of bots based on the bots requirements or wishes for you to build. And if you can muster up the most victory points, which are currency, at the end of the game, you're going to win the game Mechanica. Can you produce a tiny bot in every single human household to then help clean houses for individuals? Or will you succumb to the pressures of factory life and somebody else acquire the money to do so? That's the basis of the game. Let's go ahead and take a look down below. I'll show you how to play this interesting game that actually plays inside of the box and outside of the box as you build your tiny bot factory. So here is Mechanica and everything provided in the game. And as you can see, a lot of high quality products. There are the four player boards where players are going to place them in front of them, as well as they're going to gain currency. This is the currency here. Ones, fives, tens, and twenties. You'll get eight currency to start the game. A first player marker and a single player chip. These here are the player their aids, which will tell you how to play the game. There's the start of the workday everybody participates in, and then it'll go turn by turn doing these four steps, nothing on the back, because this is all you need to know to play the game. Additionally, every single player is going to get one of these bidding boxes that will secure you victory points or currency throughout the game. There are three types of robots, the very simple basic robots, which are these guys here, the little white ones that will start on your board right here, as well as then the orange ones, which are a slight upgrade, and then finally the major upgrade, which are these purple ones here and these will basically get you the most money if you can put them on your trucks there's also this box here and this box is what you're going to be playing with in addition to your play space in front of you this little area here is basically your bidding area which is going to move as the game progresses and these little pieces will move with it as well and if you don't purchase them in time because they'll cost less and less every round then eventually they'll actually get dropped off and they'll be removed from the game. So you have to pick them up mm, as soon as you possibly can. Uh, so let's go ahead and put this back to how it was. You place this just like this to make sure that the pieces will actually fall into this little hole here. Uh, additionally too, there are these little blueprints here, which being uh, when your robots go from one space to the next, basically from your fabricators here into your trucks, if you have the right types of robots, like for instance, this one here requires two white ones, an orange and a purple one, you can get rid of those instead of gaining currency and put 30 currency inside of your little uh, box or safe here. Additionally, there's another space here that you can gain additional victory points if you have additional robots or vice versa. And when you achieve this one, you can put it to the side and everybody else will have an opportunity to achieve it as well on that same round. If not, it'll just go away. You have the forks, which will allow you to connect certain places to certain other places. As you can see, there's these pipes here that go along into the trucks here. And you can use forks to make certain things move in certain directions. There's also the larger trucks, which you have big trucks, which can actually hold two robots as opposed to just one. And then the huge trucks here, which can hold three as opposed to two. You can purchase these individually and then upgrade them to here, or you can simply just buy the big ones outright if you would like. But just make sure you set these aside so players can purchase all three of these different types on their own turn. Uh, forks cost one, big trucks are three, and huge trucks are five. Additionally, you'll have extra pieces that based on the number of players will tell you how many extra pieces will go into this little space here and your improvements that will start with two on the board here with a cost of seven and five. Now the game's pretty simple. You're going to first of all start by preparing your board, make sure you have your little character here and run through the start of the workday period, which is going to say to move all bots from one one area all the way to the next area. So one hole to the next hole. And in this case, it'll just go like this from here, following this line to here. After that, any improvements will activate as this thing travels through your contraptions. And then finally, it'll end up in your big truck or any of your trucks. 
After everybody does that, then it will start with the first player. And that's whoever has this marker here. And the first player is going to sell all their robots here or use them for blueprints. And when you sell them, there's a certain price point for each of these. For instance, the white one is two, orange is, is going to be four, and then the big purple one is worth six. You can sell these back to the bin, and then you're going to gain currency for selling them. And then you move on to the next part, which is to buy improvements. And there's a cost here associated with the type of improvement, and these different improvements will do different things. So if I wanted to, I can go ahead and buy this upgrader, for instance. I can go ahead and take this. I can place it here. I can spend the five currency required in order to buy it. And then I can choose to buy more, or I can move on to the next step, which is I can go ahead and make new bots. And I could pick this one up as well, but it costs seven and I don't have enough. So I'm going to end it there for buying improvements. I place it here, but you can go ahead and place it anywhere you want. But remember, you're only going to make robots on the spaces that tell you they make robots. And there are certain pieces in the game that will actually go in these spaces that will allow you to create new robots. And thusly, you'll be able to place more upgrades in these areas as well. The upgrade is cool. Basically, whenever one piece goes through it, it will upgrade to the next robot, and then on the next turn, it will move to the truck that it is associated with based on this line here. Pretty useful, right? A lot of these pieces do unique and interesting things. Then you're going to make new bots. So you're going to make bots based on what your fabricators say. So place one just like that. And then finally, you're going to rotate the board. And it's pretty simple. If there's at least one piece in the seven spot here, or there's more, you're going to go ahead and move this along and then take a new piece from the improvements and place it in this little space here. Thusly, it'll be moving around the board to the point where you can discard these things here. The last thing to talk about before we move on uh, to the next turn, because this is the end of the turn here, if you wanted to buy improvements but you didn't want to put them on your board, you can simply buy them and recycle them to gain whatever robot is associated in this little recycle symbol. And in this case here, uh, you've got the little orange one. So they ha you have the option to do that if you would like. After I've went ahead and done that, I've made my bots, I have rotated the board, it will go to the next player, they'll take their turn, and then you'll go back to the beginning of day phase, in which all the bots will move, and in this case, this bot will move to here, it will stop, it will then be upgraded into an orange bot, and then you're going to have everybody else do theirs as well, and then you're going to go ahead and do the whole selling bots, buying improvements, making new bots, and rotating the shop. And that's pretty much the game. Once all the pieces from the improvement stack have been placed and discarded or been removed, that will end the game and trigger the end of game countdown which you'll check all of the points in your little secret stash here as well as checking all the points that you have in front of you and points from buying these pieces on your board and whoever has the most points is the winner and that's basically the idea of the game one thing else to really talk about is that there are the different pieces in the game for instance an advanced fabricator will let you make an extra little white token there so during the making bots phase this will let you make one here as well as one here. And there's an extra space for an additional one if you somehow get one. You have stuff like the gift wrapper, wrapper, which whenever a piece goes through it, you're going to score one point and put it into your little gift box there. You have stuff like the static charger, which uh, basically what happens, this will go like this. This will generate here, and on the next turn, it will go through here, do the gift wrapper, give you one point. And then whenever anything passes through the static charger, you're going to put a white robot here and on the next turn it will go through as well and remember too you have to have space in order for all the robots to make it through if you have three robots that go through here but only one space you have to choose which robot you want to keep that's why these huge trucks will come in handy allowing you to place multiple robots in this specific section here uh you have this here one here which is the oh what is this one here this one's the overactive fabricator you can choose a specific robot that you want and give other players a different type of robot you've got things like the upgrader which we talked about already this is the repurposer which will allow you to spend two robots to get any robot of your choice, and so on and so forth. And you'll be building these pieces here. You'll be using your forks and attempting to make the best factory possible to make the best robots you can possibly make, to score the most points, make the most money, and make sure you can get a robot surveying, cleaning every household in America. Mechanica is a brilliant looking game. As you can see, these pieces alone are really, really well done. They're very sturdy and they feel great. They look great. The artwork in the game is excellent. It does exactly what I would like it to do in one of these like dystopian type futures where robots are trying to get humans to do their bidding by getting these cleaning robots into everybody's house to which they will then control the world. Has this unique little humorous tone to the entire rulebook and explains the game pretty well. The only one little critique I actually have about this game in terms of the rules is when you are recycling certain pieces, it will tell you how many, uh, it'll tell you what to get 
as far as and it's hard to see here but this shows actually two little orange robots and i don't know if it's just supposed to give you one which is how we were playing or you actually get the two because the other ones are just one but it made sense as well maybe it was just a symbol type but it was just a slight little confusion there the blueprints to the game is uh, one of the necessities in order to win this game. You're going to be needing to get rid of robots to gain more value. You can sell your robots, which is good for money to get you more improvements. And also, at the end of the game, that money will count towards your victory points. But using these blueprints here are going to get you more money for the robots that you are basically putting on trucks. And as you gather more robots and you get closer to the middle of the game, you're definitely going to want to invest in making sure you get the blueprints. There is a bit of luck associated to getting the blueprints. You may or may not have the right color is needed if you're not paying attention or if just the one that you do not want to pop up pops up maybe you're making a bunch of purple and orange robots and the blueprint that pops up needs four white ones you might just be out of luck in that case and you'll have to rearrange your building in order to construct more white ones in order to gather that blueprint or wait for somebody else to pick it up there's a solo mode to the game and it plays up to four players and whether you're playing two three or four players it plays very similar but it changes in dynamic as to what pieces you can get there's also luck of associated to the box of course as you are trying to mm, gather certain pieces and this board moves around making certain pieces cheaper that you may or may not want uh, as well as certain things popping up like of course these purple ones here these little uh, overactive fabricators the advanced fabricators these are very very important and when they pop up they are going to be a commodity that you're going to want to buy because they're going to generate you more robots and in the beginning of the game specifically it's going to help you out placement is extremely important in this game if you do not place correctly, you are going to fail, and you are going to fail miserably. Make sure you place exactly how you want to place to gather the best benefit for your factory. Certain things can explode if you're not playing things correctly. If you have too many of a specific robot or specific robots into a truck, like you have three robots into a truck that only carries one, you're going to lose two robots, which is not very effective. Efficiency is extremely important in this game. If you don't mind a game with a good amount of luck and a lot of choice and strategy allow allowing you to also build, creating an engine, tableau management, then this is a game I would definitely suggest checking out. The aspect of playing inside of the box is really unique and really cool as well. The fact that the pieces will actually be discarded and you can also recycle them, that you can put them on your board, they give you points at the end of the game, all very, very cool. The only thing I'd like to see actually is more different types of pieces added to the game for a luxury of different types. It has one of those aspects where you never... You're never quite satisfied when the game is over because you want to keep building more, which in my opinion is an excellent mechanic or an excellent aspect to a specific, a specific games where you always want to do more and build more, which gets you to want to play more. So you'll play again and try and do a better strategy to get a better outcome at the end of the game. You're challenging yourself as well as challenging your opponents and your choices do make a huge difference in your opponent's plays, but you're not actively going out and messing with them for the most part. Overall, Mechanica is an excellent game. I strongly suggest checking out if it's something that sounds interesting to you go ahead and take a look at the link description below if you want to pick up resonance mechanica pretty good pretty dang good <laughs>